anarchy, absolute chaos. That's all I've known for the past years. My homeland, Ragnarok, got into a huge war conflict. And no one knew how it started. I lived most of my life in the monastery of the bridge monks. Living and praying on the guard and word of Raptor Jesus. Or at least we thought so. At that day, it was different. The day my brothers and sisters were slaughtered by the Raptorian Church. Apparently the Great War caused people to confuse friend from foe. They burned it all down to the last piece. I was barely able to survive. In fear of my life, I jumped off a bridge hoping that the river would soften my fall. In my luck, I found a lost fisher boat. I was planning to use it to get into the ocean to escape the Great War and find a safer place for me. But as soon as I struck open water, I encountered a pirate ship. Pretty much the last thing I needed right now. So I tried to escape over the beach, tried to run away, but the pirates placed traps and caught me. They took me as prisoner and sailed off far away from my homeland. I was kept as slave to help build their own galleons at their own front lines. For over a year I had to endure their freedom. I was constantly praying to Raptor Jesus in hope anything would change, in hope a miracle might occur and change the situation I'm in. They prized their ship as Black Rose. And one day we sailed into a foreign land. I saw my opportunity. It was nighttime. Most of the crew members were drunk and wouldn't pay much attention. So instead of waiting for a miracle, I decided to put matter into my own hands. I managed to sneak away in a far enough distance and then hide into the forests to build a small camp just so I could survive the night. I contemplated my next move and decided to build a raft the next day so I could go back to my homeland. Luckily the pirates were already gone and they could sail off into the ocean without worrying much. After a while traveling the ocean, I finally got ground on my feet again. The land I stepped foot on was familiar and unfamiliar at the same time. After some exploring, I found some structures that were scarily comparable to the ruins of Ragnarok. I wonder if the Reptarian Church ever have stepped foot on this land, and if not, who would have been the architects of our structures? On my explorations throughout the ruins, I found the body of a dead scientist. He was carrying a bag with a dozen of files with a weird liquid and a note. The note warned about an humanoid creature that infested the land. The origins of a nameless remain a mystery, but wherever they came from, these vicious creatures are nothing discovered. 
is very rarely found alone. Common nameless act in a subservient role to the Pax Alpha and will quickly eat its call to battle. For savage in nature, the names are deceptively intelligent. When hurt, they bore on the ground to recover and protect themselves from further damage. Fortunately, they are highly susceptible to damage and burns from charge-based light sources. And exploiting this weakness can save a survivor's life. All attempts to pacify an aliens have failed. Each one has an extremely powerful bond with its pack leader, and for survivors, it might as well be unbreakable. I quickly discovered that the files in the scientist's bag contained nameless pheromone which he planned to use to pacify the Nameless. His notes confirmed that it had some type of effect on the Nameless, but not the required strength. I was wondering if I could extract the Nameless pheromone from an Alpha. Would I be able to disguise myself as an Alpha and lead them into battle? And who knows, maybe they are more intelligent than people thought of. My name is Sunshin Han. I am the last survivor of the bridge monks. My goals. I will avenge my fallen brothers and hopefully find enough people to rebuild the monastery. But first, I want the Church of Victoria burn. I want them burn like the walls of my former home. Raptor Jesus has betrayed me. I will rave up my faith into the nameless.